we celebrate today the memory of one of the saints of the so-called Arnoldus family. The name of the saint is Saint Joseph or Joseph Phrynadimets. The wooden statue of Saint Joseph Phrynadimets is in front of you on your right. This is how we honor one of our SVD saints. The name is Phrynadimets. How do you spell Phrynadimets? It doesn't sound easy. F R E I Fry N A N A D E D M E T Z Mets Fry N A D E Mets That is the family name. The first name is Joseph. Father Joseph Fry N A D E Mets. When I was new in the SVD. When I was applying to join the SVD in the 1970s, when I met the name Fray Nadimets for the first time, I was perplexed. I was confused. I didn't know how to read the name. I didn't know how to pronounce it. I didn't know how to spell the name. And I could not easily remember the name Fray Nadimets. Why don't we just call him using his Chinese name? He is Chinese as a missionary, but he comes from the northern part of Italy. The name of Fray Nadimets in Chinese is Fu Jo She Shen Fu, simplified to Fu Shen Fu which means lucky priest. The Catholics in South Shandong in China could hardly pronounce the family name Fray Dadimets correctly. They started calling him Fu for short. Since the English word priest is Shen Fu in Chinese language, the people called Father Yosef Fu Shen Fu. But who is Joseph Reynadimets? Who is Fu Shen Fu? He was born on April 15, 1852 in the Dolomites of South Tyrol in the tiny hamlet of Oyes, a mountain valley in Abte Badia in northern Italy. I was privileged to visit his birthplace in 2010 when I attended the SVD renewal course and our class was brought there as part of our itinerary. It's a lovely place. It's a beautiful place. Oh yes, it's a place that I will never forget. When Joseph was born, the Dolomite Valleys were part of Austria since the 14th century. But in 1919, after the First World War, the southern part of Tyrol was given to Italy by the vanquishing powers. Joseph comes from a big family. If I am not mistaken, there are 10 children in all and Joseph was the fourth child of the couple Giovanni Mattia and Anna Maria. Nine others, four of whom died soon after birth, came after Joseph, and daily life was deeply rooted in Catholic tradition. Joseph was a diocesan priest. He was ordained on July 25, 1875, and in 1878, when he was already a diocesan priest, Joseph joined the Society of the Divine Word at Style in Holland, founded by Father Arnold Janssen. Father Joseph was convinced that it was in style where he could follow 
his vocation to be a missionary priest and barely a year later on March 2, 1879, Joseph received his mission cross along with another SVD, Father John Baptist Anzer, who became bishop later on to be the fledgling SVD pioneer missionaries assigned to China. From 1879 until his death in 1908, at the age of 56, Joseph never returned to his homeland again, even for a short vacation. He was to be a missionary in China for life. He worked with lay catechists. He helped in the formation of the local clergy. He became rector of a major seminary in South Shandong. He became provincial superior of the SVD in China. He died of tuberculosis on January, we do not know the exact date, 28 or 29 in 1908 in Taikia, South Shandong. He was beatified together with Father Arnold Johnson by Pope Paul VI in 1975 and together with Father Johnson and Bishop Daniel Comboni of the Comboni Missionaries, Joseph was canonized by Pope John Paul II in Rome on October 5, 2003. Among the Filipino SVDs who attended the canonization ceremonies in Rome, I was also privileged to be one of them. My dear brothers and sisters, when he was a missionary in China, Joseph Reinadimetz frequently re repeated the words like, I would like to be Chinese in heaven. That statement probably means in heaven, he would like to have as many Chinese around him as possible. He truly loved the Chinese people with whom he lived and worked. He promoted the idea that the local Chinese priests should become the leaders in the local church before Rome was quite ready for this. But it was decades later that Rome appointed the first Chinese bishop in 1946, a certain Father Thomas Chen, also an SVD, who as a seminarian had known Fray Nadimitz. He was elevated by Pope Pius XII to become Cardinal Thomas Chen, the first non-white cardinal. My dear friends, there are many other things that we can say about Joseph Ray Nadimitz. One time he wrote to his sister back home and Joseph said to the sister, I want to live and die with the Chinese. Joseph's love for the Chinese had to endure not a little. No missionary had experienced the cruel ingratitude from the Chinese at times than the greatest friend of the Chinese, namely Father Fray Nadimets, who sometimes was called by the Chinese as foreign devil. But his affection and love for the Chinese must have been genuine and deep. He lived the goodness and kindness of God among the Chinese who had begun to grow also close to his heart. Well before his death, the Chinese people and others with whom Joseph worked recognized Joseph as a saintly man because of his humility, including his firm yet gentle approach to his work and total love for the Chinese people. Joseph Reinadimetz is a divine word missionary who became a sign of God's goodness in China. 
He was not an extraordinary leader. He did not found a religious congregation. He never became a bishop. He did not write any significant theological treatise. He did not develop any new mission methods. He did not die a martyr. He had many talents, but he was not a genius. Joseph, however, was heart and soul a missionary, a pastoral minister, a faithful, happy, and holy priest and missionary, a man of prayer who was always at the service of his calling. The cross of Christ, the Eucharist, and contemplation of the Word of God were the central pillars of the missionary life of the saint we call Saint Joseph Freinadimetz. As we celebrate his memory today, we will ask him, Saint Joseph, pray for us, divine word missionaries, more than 6,000 of us working in some 80 countries all over the world. May we imitate your love for the mission until death. We are your fellow divine word missionaries. Amen. Prayers of the Faithful